right, we're here with Brian and Courtney, and of course, Remy. Remy, Remy. Hi, love. Hi, and Miss Miss Sarah. <laughs> All righty, guys. How old is Remy now? She is 16 weeks. 16 weeks. All right, and she's graduated from puppy kindergarten today. Yes, yeah, she is. What, okay, you had, so puppy kindergarten was basically two sessions in your home. What did you think of puppy kindergarten? It was probably the best thing we could have done for her, honestly. Why is that? Um, because we want her to be the kind of dog, we go to other people's houses and there's dogs that just are all over the place and you want to love on them and pay attention to them because it's not their fault, they just didn't learn properly and I don't want her to be like that. I want people to come over and be comfortable and I want her to just basically be a good dog. Yeah. Well, she couldn't have learned all that in just two little sessions, though. No, we had to work <laughs> a lot at home with her. Right, right, but she's still, she's still growing. Yep. Okay, um, so basically, uh, so are you saying Puppy Kindergarten, you wanted to get her off to a good head start? Yep. I wanted to have her a leg up on the competition of all the other dogs that are out there. Oh, tell me about that, how do you mean? I like that. Um, when I go to friends and family's houses, Uh huh. Knowing how I can see their dogs are untrained makes me want to train her more. Oh, so wow, that when okay. people come over here, do they not only respect me, but they respect my dog because my dog is so well-mannered. Oh, I love that. Awesome. I love yeah. that. So what did, um, how old was she when we did our first session? Do you remember? Uh, ten weeks. Yeah, she was a little yeah, bitty. Just yeah. ten weeks. And what have you learned um, from that first session to now? What has she learned and what have you learned? Um, we've learned a lot, but mostly it's it's kind of, we had to learn things that worked for us and worked with her, um, you know, improvising on certain things like putting the puppy gate up between the living room and the kitchen so she has less space and so she knows that, okay, well that's not my area, that's mom's area, that's dad's area, I can't go in there. Right, you know, okay. You different things like that. Um, she's learned a lot about personal space with us too. Good. And, and kind of respecting it like she's laying down right now instead of trying to jump up on us and and just watching the other dog with the Kong too yep. look how chill she is okay so what else any of the commands beneficial yes dogs yes. can learn commands this young can't they yes, yes. they can yes so yes were the commands I beneficial think the biggest command we learned was the come command yes. okay because the worst thing we've heard well I would say the, the scariest thing most owners can ever have happen to them is their dog runs out the front door and into the street Okay. And when you can't control your dog coming to you, mm -hmm. how do you stop them? Do you yell yep. at them? Do you, do you get mad at them? But mm -hmm. instead, we, you know, we learn through your puppy kindergarten that we can get her to come to us with a very high pitched call and she will come right to us with, and and at, the, at the drop of a hat. She will that stop. That's actually very, very, very beneficial yes. because she um, was so excited one day when I got home and the front door was open, the screen door was closed. And she jumped up and she hit the handle because she's a shepherd puppy. You know, all that weight just popped the door open and she ran out to the front yard because it's a new place and wow. she wanted to play. And I stepped one foot out and I went to chase her and I said, what am I doing? This is crazy. And I called her and she immediately turned did 180 and came right back to Fantastic. me. Fantastic. Awesome. Awesome. Could have been a very bad situation because right. you know, we've got cars coming and going all the time. So. Right. Exactly. But that was awesome. Exactly. Very good. And that's what we talk about. I think our first session we talked about building the bond with your dog. Mm -hmm. So you've already proven that you could form a bond with your dog as a very young puppy. Yes. yes. Where do you think you'd be right now if we hadn't done any training and you were waiting until she was 16 weeks to come to classes or something? Oh, she'd be jumping up, we'd be pulling her hair out. I don't even think she'd be potty trained at this point, honestly. Really? Because I think helping with those commands and stuff help build a better bond and that trust. Absolutely. And help with the potty training. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. Um, it just it educated I think we, us. Yeah, it, it really I feel did. like puppy kindergarten is less about educating the dog and more about educating the yep. parents. Yeah, because Courtney and I, we, uh, we talked a good bit about how things were when you were growing up, mm -hmm. raising dogs versus how it is now raising dogs. Yep. And my personal uh, motto, I guess, as a trainer is that the humans are the ones in charge mm -hmm. and protecting your dog and keeping them safe. Oh. Well, fantastic. And look, Two sisters, they're getting along just fine. You hear a little growl now and then, no big deal. So how, how has that been? Has it been hard adjusting the two together? Um, it wow. had, it, it's been a little hard, but we're getting better with it. Have your moments, yeah, yeah. you're learning. Yeah, they definitely have their moments. They, um, it is funny because the younger sister tends to demand more attention. Right. But, yep. you know, it, it gets better with time. 
So, um, but the kindergarten was obviously very beneficial to you, yes. right? Absolutely. Would you um, recommend it to people? I would Highly. definitely recommend it. Yes. Highly. Was it beneficial having someone come into your home? Or would you have rather gone somewhere? Um, it was great having you come here. Why is that? Um, because I feel like it, it helps us address things in the home more so. Well, she's personal. just chilling. Yeah. She's just chilling. It's, Care less. It's Good. much more of a personal, ex personal experience because not only do I feel like if you were to go someplace else with the dog, the dog is out of its element. Mm -hmm. and it's not going to do the things that it does right. at home. So mm -hmm. you, the owner has to relay the, you know, every experience that, to the exact T of how it is to you out on there, mm -hmm. everywhere. And if you were to come here, you get to see it in person. Right. And you can handle it and you can correct it at that very moment. Yeah, yeah and, and understand what's going on. Right. Mm -hmm. So what commands has she learned in kindergarten? She's learned sit and down um, and come and come yes most importantly wait come. wait she's learned about the good choices with the food which good. is that's just like she looks at me like mom what are you doing i know this yeah i'm so, not going to come to you at all when you try and give me that handful of treats so she doesn't demand anymore no she's no demanding i don't think she's demanded since that day one since she learned yeah. it how awesome is that fantastic that's which why is we great love because, the public kindergarten so much yes Especially like when my godchildren are here, they can, you know, five and eight, they can mm -hmm. walk around with food in their hands and she's just like, whatever. No, she's like trying to go after it and get yep. their food. Oh, how awesome is that, mm -hmm. huh? Yep. Fantastic. So tell me, was it hard? Um, it was harder on us than her. Why? And only because we had to learn that if we didn't put in the effort, she's not going to learn. If, we don't make, if you don't make the time to do it, you can see the regression in the training. Oh, yeah. exactly. Oh, big time. I couldn't have said it better, Brian. Big time. Yeah. Well, what would you add to anybody? Oh, speaking of time, before I go on to that, did it take a lot of time? Not really. She's Just incorporating an it into so your life, night, huh? An hour or so a night. Yeah, not even, not not even, even that, really. really. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the beginning, though, for the first week, we definitely were on it every day. Yeah, you want to do a good job. We yeah, <laughs> we're good doggy yeah, parents. We're good parents. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's like change the baby every hour when they come home. A week yeah. later, we're changing them every two hours. <laughs> um, but it was basically incorporating it into your life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Like learning, we're going to make you wait before you come out the kennel, that kind of well, stuff. Well, I was kind of used to that already because I had trained Sarah. Okay. But, um, but it definitely is it's helpful to get back into this because afterwards, I stopped. I stopped training once I thought, oh, I'm done with Sarah. She doesn't need to do it anymore. Right. And realizing now that I need to continue doing it for all my animals. Right. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, guys. So anything else you want to add to anybody? Um, if you have the opportunity to do puppy kindergarten, do it. It's going to save you in the long run. Honestly, it's just you're giving your animals a great start. It's just like if it was your child. You would want them exactly. to have the best start possible. Exactly. Yeah, so. I, I, exactly. I couldn't have said it better. And that's why we started this program because that fear imprint time period, that mm -hmm. six to 12 weeks is so very important. Mm -hmm. So tell me, did we do any harsh stuff? Did we spray with water bottles? No. no. Did we no. slap them or hit her? No. Nope. Just love is all we gave them. Exactly. Love and food love and treats. Yeah. So there was no harsh stuff. We didn't do a shot collar. Nope. No. We didn't scream and yell at her. Nope. Did we have to slap her and beat her? No. Oh, did we hold her mouth? How about this? People no. tell me all the time, I'm holding her mouth when she's biting. I'm like, why did or we the, do that? The forcing her into positions. Oh, yes. Stuff. Did we, we do any of that? that? No. no. None of that mess. No. no. And do you feel like she respects you? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, no doubt. It shows by how she interacts with you. Okay. Well, I can't thank you guys enough. Congratulations. Thank you. thank you, Kathy. And we have much more sessions to come. Yes. And I look forward to everyone seeing and look at this little girl. Watch her now because next time you all see her in video, she'll be a full-grown girl. She's out. She's crying. Hey, puppy kindergarten wore her out. Yes. All right. Well, congratulations, guys. Thank you. And we're, I'm looking forward to working with you and going forward and taking Remy as far as she can go. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.